Unlocking a new style in seconds with presets is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Well, hello everyone. So, um, like we said, our topic today is about presets. Now, a, a preset is created with all the tools and all their settings, or selected tools and settings, um, and it's all contained within a preset. So, with one click of a button, we're able to create and unleash some really cool um, images. All right? So, let's dive right in. So, here we're going to start with... Um, an animal, all right? Well, if I click on presets, for this photo is using AI, and what this is doing, is it's gonna look at the scene, analyze it, and it realizes, okay, well, there's animals in this photo. So it's gonna give us suggestions on what tools and what presets will look great for this particular image. So let me come over here to natural, we'll start with natural. Look at that. Already, off, right out of the gate, Natural looks amazing. And then I can go down the list and apply them. Well, once we apply that preset, notice it's added to the edit list here. Well, I can continue with different tools and just add that tool and build upon that particular preset. So we'll add a little vignette to this tool, to this look. Here we go. And there we have it. All right. Now, let's come over here where there's people involved. And if you notice, when we click on... It's going to analyze the image, realize that there's people in the scene. And now it's going to base those tools on these people. And black and white for this image always looks really good. So one click, look at that. We're set. Let me come back to the catalog. Uh, landscapes. Let's see what it does with landscapes. Again, come over here to the edit. Give it a second to render. Here we are, presets. And for this image, close up. Overcast. Let's see. Oh, water. So it recognized, it recognized that there's water in the scene. And so let's check to see what these presets look like. Deadly Reef. Uh, soft Fixed. Uh, these here I think will look better with actual like scenes with lots and lots of water. So I can apply a preset and if I don't like it, I can always back out and then... Uh, grab another one. Oh, look at that. That one looks good right here. And then if there's people in the scene, here, let me reset this. Um, all right. Oh, I need to click on edit first. Here we go. Uh, remove. Uh, where are we? Interesting. Uh, let me go over to the edit tools and discard all the edits. There we are. All right. So if there's a person in the scene along with landscapes, it's going to take that into consideration also. So let's try easy landscape. Yes, I don't mind. And by the way, if I already have tools and, and created on this particular image, and then I try to add a preset afterwards, it's going to give me that little dialog box asking me if I'm sure I want it to overwrite um, everything I've created. Here we go. Let's see the forest. Oh, okay, I like this. And then let's come over here to the tools. And because we're dealing with a portrait, let's add a little face relight. Give it a second. And I'll slim the face down just a little bit. And once it adds to it, um, I'm running a little bit low on system resources. So it's taking a while for it to, to render for us. 
but in a moment we'll see it. While that's doing that, I'm going to move up and Accent AI. And let's drive that up a little bit. And we'll give it a second to render. And then we'll see the results um, that we're able to add. So with that, so while it's rendering, let's see if I can show it to you in the edit tools. Yes. So we started with, with a preset and then we built upon that preset to create a particular look. Now, as of right now, as of right now, we don't have, we don't have it set up yet to where we can actually copy that preset, make changes to it, and then resave it again as our own preset. That'll be coming in future releases. All right. So Carl, let's open it up for discussion. Out there, Carl. <laughs> All right, let's open it up for discussion. Okay, there's no way you can't do it the opposite way, though. If you put the preset after you did the adjustments, it would wipe out all of your adjustments, correct? Exactly. And and thankfully now, thankfully now, it gives us the um, the dialog box that actually says, "Hey, if you do this, you're going to wipe out." all the stuff you've done in the past it didn't do that and people would click on a, a new template in Luminar AI and it'd wipe everything out and they would wonder what the heck just happened so there is a warning box that tells you hey if you do this this is going to be the result good question next Carl uh, Kurt are you looking much better today? I thought you had some sleep. <laughs> a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. uh, just to say that um, now that we've got the ability to copy and paste settings, while people are waiting for the functionality of saving your own preset, you can actually use that as a workaround. If you, if you save the thing and then you can import other images and copy the, the settings. Exactly, yeah. So, so what he's saying is here, here we are. And let me um, zoom in so you can see it. Is once I saved, or once once we have all these images here, and you know what? Mine's not for some reason. Mine's not showing up. One moment. So yeah. So over here you have a setting that says, um, you know, oh, you know what? Let me try it this way. Right click. Adjustments. Here we are. And I can copy the adjustments here. And once I copy the adjustment, then I can come over to another image, right click, and then paste that adjustment onto that image or onto an entire series of images. And like Kurt was just saying, that, that opens it up for us to where we're able to um, apply those settings and then start to create a new uh, look you know, from that setting. Good point. <coughs> Next, Carl. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, since we have no further questions, um, please. In the chat. Oh, is there? Yeah, Carl. I think you're muted. Oh, we can't hear. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Say it one more time. Can you bring PNG to layers? Yes. And the update with the update and copy and sync. Yes. So, so yep. So we'll talk about that with the Ask Me Anything segment. So, guys, um, again, this is about presets. So please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where you can ask any questions you want pertaining to photography and to uh, Luminar, and we'll be happy to answer them. So thanks so much for joining us, and I'll see you at the next coffee break. Oh.